entrepreneurs are highly adaptable and resilient because they are great at dealing with uncertainty. Like wild elephants, they create their own ways through the jungle, like creating new possibilities. In today's episode, we have one such entrepreneur with us sharing his insights and perspectives. Help me welcome Sumit Shandilya, Director of IIPE India and Entrepreneur, Consultant, Trainer and a Leading Business Management Professional. He has held a number of key positions at universities and corporations, a recipient of multiple prestigious awards and a national level sportsman as well. I think it's short put. Let's get his insights and perspectives through the three most pressing questions people always ask him. Three, two, one, live limitless. Let's go. Uh, a question which has been asked to me many a times is how challenging it is to be an entrepreneur. Of course, it is challenging. I mean, who am I to say that it is not challenging? But what I feel is it is more exciting than challenging. You get to face different situations, clients, tasks and issues which make your work more exciting. Yes, challenges are there to manage the time, quality and the quality of work. But you cannot ask for success without having any challenges. The other side may be true that without those challenges, one may get success. But it is true hardly for one in a lakh. But still, for the rest of the 99,999, they have to work out the hard way. This is another question which has been asked to me many a times and it is about my age. I have been asked this question in almost 70 to 80 percent of my programs and sometimes it has been very embarrassing also. I know I look a bit, maybe a lot older than usually I am, but I believe I neither appear as ugly or neither the best in that room. But still, this has been the question many a times. Most of the time, I replied with a counter question that how much old do I look and whatever has been their answer, I just tell it to them. I just say add plus plus or minus five to that age. And I have been true almost every time after saying this. Well, I'm 33. I'm going to be 33 years old in this July. Another question which I have been asked many times, it is regarding my management of time. How do I manage my time amidst of the schedule, work, personal life, academics? This question has been quite tough or I should say toughest for me. I mean, I always have been diplomatic in answering this question. Frankly, I am very bad in managing time. This is the area where I lack and there is a tremendous scope of improvement and I am I'm genuinely working on this. I remember, I mean my mentor, uh, Dr. Jaskiran Arora, oh, she is an awesome person, a beautiful human being. She has been working very hard to improve this characteristic of mine and I have always, I mean most of the time, failed her. Mostly, I end the day with two to four priority work still pending. But the other side is, the other side of the coin is, I might have completed more than 10 high priority tasks at that time also. But think from the perspective of those two to four whose work is still left. For them, I'm a bad manager of time. What I feel is more than the issue with the time, I should learn to say no. Right. Uh, yes. I would like to share, I mean, uh, two pieces of advice to the viewers. The first one is, of course, chase and run for your dreams. Chase and run for all those things which your elders, your seniors, your parents, they cannot get for you like a sustainable career, a skill set. To a larger extent, 
sustained and continued money ethics of course i'm not saying no to girlfriends or boyfriends i'm just saying focus on your skills knowledge career your potential girlfriend or boyfriend they are definitely going to follow you if you have your career skills money and all those things i have seen many wasting their youth and prime time of their life in these things even if they get this they had to compromise on something important with their career so frankly i feel this is almost a waste if you are dedicatedly running after these things my second piece of advice would be do not waste time do not even try to do that actually the fact is no one can waste time it is out of bounds for us to waste time time is not something which we control or own unlike our mobile phones or maybe any other gadget that we own we can destroy them we can waste them at our will time is not like a piece of paper not like a water bottle which we can waste any time in fact if we do not utilize the time we do not hone our skills at the right time then it is the time which wastes us it is the time which makes you outdated and not acceptable in this continuously changing and challenging world there time was there when we were not there so practically time is more powerful than us time just passes it is never wasted the time which you feel that you have wasted has actually been utilized by someone in doing something productive so it never gets wasted but it is us who have been wasted within that duration of time we have aged without gaining anything so this is one piece of advice that i would like to give or share with everyone uh yes uh, i would also like to share few references or few resources i would suggest you all to read fictions uh, discuss management and uh, with elders and their failures play cool games like call of duty uh, do physical work keep upgrading yourself my recommendations would be to read everything from dan brown jk rowling paulo coelho sydney sheldon and amish tripathi keep the kid alive in you this is what my dad has done and he is still doing it practicing it and he teaches me uh, still teaches this to me right